Howdy friends, welcome back to the homestead on the, uh, the great quarantine of 2020. Uh, today, we'll just kind of hang out. I'm gonna finish, try and get this siding finished on the house and then uh, kind of show you what it's like out here in the country where you, it just, the highway's over there and it seems pretty quiet. I noticed when I came out that it was a little more quiet than usually on a Friday morning. But uh, then I turned on the radio and they said, well, California, hunker down. So this is uh, it's perfect for me because I, I think I enjoy sh social distancing and um, staying at home. So it's not really much different for us around here. The wife is extremely pregnant. So <clears throat> there is a chance that we'll have to go to the hospital at some point this week. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's get to work. So even after I uh, measure and mark it all, I always check it twice. One, because this stuff's about 40 bucks a sheet, and two, because it's nothing more frustrating. Are you having sausage? Yeah. And pancakes with whipped yeah. cream? Yeah. Yeah, is it yummy? Yeah. Waffles with whipped cream? Yeah. Waffles with whipped cream. Are you painting? Yeah. That's a cool picture. Uh, this is a window, a new vinyl window I got from Home Depot. You're going to want to cut this um, corner off when they butt weld it together. It 
kind of oozes out here and creates this little um, edge and it's just best to get rid of that cleans it up and gives you the right measurement huh What's for dinner? I'm gonna make the midnight chicken. You have to make it for you guys. So I have to eat your native people foods, but you won't eat my native people food? It's your native people food. Fish? You never cook fish. Because you don't like it. If you cook it, if it's fresh and cooked, huh. I'll try it. Huh. Next thing, this is more of just a traditional basic exterior window trim. Um, measure your bottom first and make it tight. So this board has a slight warp to it, but we should be able to get it out. So I'll square it up on my edges and then find a stud. I mean, I know my studs are here because I have uh, my nails going up through there. This is concrete siding and it is somewhat brittle to, to put a nail through so close to the edge. So I will pre-drill this on wood. I mean, it, it is good practice to pre-drill, but you don't necessarily have to. Number 10 nails, uh, galvanized preferably. Next thing, hook the top and measure down to the bottom of the trim. Uh, 15 to 16. Yep. Then measure the top from trim to trim. 42 and 9 sixteenths. Set your top, flush it out on the edges, and Nail it in. Also try and match the nails down below. Just kind of gives it a good look. The theory behind this style, trimming it this way with the header over the top of both the edges is think like a raindrop. The water would come down and then if you had these trim pieces coming up and through, the water would follow that crack and then want to go down and maybe into the building and that's basically that. I'll uh, finish nailing that up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.